what's up YouTube land it's your boy Eddie Hill the White Oak Pennsylvania toy collector and it's time for another Eddie Hill review it's review time people and today we'll be reviewing some vintage 2000s Pokemon figures but as an apology to my fans I'm sorry I didn't get on to yesterday's review. I for, I got Game Pass and played Star Wars Battlefront 2 with my sister's boyfriend, Josh, and I kind of forgot about it. So sorry about that in advance. You're probably wondering, why didn't I do it? Because I fell asleep as well after I played with them. So I kept playing through the day, so kind of... Drop the ball on that, so sorry about that. But now we're going to do today's review and be done with the week. First on the list, we got Golduck from Pokemon. Yeah. He doesn't have art any articulation in the head or legs or arms. But he's a nice little display figure, if I do say so myself. And we got a Sand Shrew keychain. Oh, that's so precious. I love it. A Golem. Little top thing. Roll it. It does that. And falls over on its own. And we got this Pokemon. I think it's from Johto. Pokemon Johto. But I don't know the name of it. But it's so cute and adorable. It's why I picked it up. Why not? But now we're going to get down to some comparisons with some other figures from the 2000s. First and foremost, we got the Pokemon Trainer Misty, which can go with Gold Duck. 2000s, a Pikachu based on the 2000s Pikachu. Why not? Never say why not. If I can get him to stand. And some other random Pokemon from other series. I do have this one, which is a legendary Pokemon. Yeah, legendary being the word. We got Blaziken. Can't remember what series he came from, but he's Blaziken. Why not? Evolved form of Oshawott. I think from black and white. And another topper thing it's a Pikachu. So yeah, we got quite a few of Pokemon action figures themselves. And we got some Pokeballs. Classic Pokeball. Two of them. We got two. And a, another version of the Pokeball. I forget what this one is called. But yeah. Some epic Pokemon action figures I own as of 2022. And are Pokemon action figures worth adding to the collection for me? I say yes. I grew up with Pokemon in the 2000s and I watched quite a few series. Some I may have forgotten the names, but... Yeah. I'm... Yeah, I gotta watch more Pokemon series one of these days. It's gonna have to be on my goal set here. But yeah, I have quite a few Pokemon this year. And I love this line so much. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out. YouTube land. And I'm so glad to have these in my collection. Bye.